Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. You're here to learn how to create a Canvas app in Microsoft Power Apps, and we're gonna dive into that right now. But first things first, there are two types of apps that you can build. There's a model-driven app, which pulls data from this thing called Dataverse, formerly the Common Data Service. And the look and feel of this is all gonna be driven by your data. If you wanna learn how to get started with model-driven apps, check out the video linked above. And then the focus of this video, the Canvas apps, this is going to give you a lot more control over the user interface as far as colors and layouts and margins and so on. It's just a little bit of a richer experience. So let's go see this in action. We're starting here at admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and I'm in a 30-day free trial that I set up previously. If you don't know how to do that, check out this video above and in the description. Before we do anything with apps, let's create a new environment. This just helps me keep things separated. So we'll say new, and for name, I'm going to call this Canvas Apps. For type, select Trial Subscription Based. You can leave everything else the default and click Next. On this next screen, you can also leave the defaults for everything except this one, Deploy Sample Apps and Data. It doesn't actually give you any sample Canvas apps, but it is going to install that sample data, which will be super helpful. And then say Save. By the way, while we're waiting, be sure to click that subscribe button so you get notified of other Power Apps videos as I upload them. Okay, with that created, we're now gonna move over to make.powerapps.com. This is where you're gonna be doing your app development work. One thing to check though, make sure you're in the right environment. So I'm gonna to toggle over to Canvas Apps, the one that we just created. And before we dive into creating anything, we're gonna come and create a solution or a container to hold all of our changes. This is typically a best practice, so you can download those changes and move them to another environment. We'll create a new solution. We'll also call this one Canvas Apps. For Publisher, we have some defaults. Let's create a new one, though, so we can keep track of what we're doing versus what was out of the box. Tiny Technical Tutorials. I'll copy that. This one can be the same thing, but without the spaces. And then for Prefix, TTT. This will get appended in front of things in the database, like your tables, for instance. And it's just a way that you can tell what you did versus what was already there. Save. Make sure you select that publisher and then create. All right, here's our solution. Let's click into this. And this container or this solution will hold all the changes that you want to make to your app. At the moment, it's empty, obviously. So let's create a new app by coming up to New, App, Canvas app. For app name, we'll say my first Canvas app. Format will leave as tablet and then say create. You will need to select your country or region and then say get started. And we're basically starting with a blank canvas. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. Now you can create just a static app if you want, but most of the times you're going to want to be working with data and pulling data from some source. So it's easy to set this up to say connect to data and then add data, select your data source. Because when we created the environment, we said that we wanted a database, that set us up with Microsoft Dataverse, which has several tables available out of the box, like accounts, activities, and contacts, and so forth. And these are also gonna have the sample data, which is really handy for testing and just seeing how things work. So let's connect this to the contacts table. And with our contacts, let's say that we want them in sort of a gallery view where we can see their picture and their name and other information about them. Really easy to do that. Just come up to Insert, Gallery. You'll see there's different layouts here to choose from. I personally like this vertical one, so let's choose this. And it'll start off with just the standard lorem ipsum text, but as soon as you connect your data source, this is the one that we pulled into the app overall, we want to say that this gallery is choosing or pulling from that table. And this is a live preview. These are actually contacts that are in that table, sample contacts. They've got pictures and other information, which is really nice. And from here, you can work to customize the look and feel. So you just need to select one item and it will apply the changes to everything else in this gallery. For example, if I want to move this up a little bit to be top aligned, You'll see it does that with all of the other ones as well. We've got the email address, but we've also got space for another line here. I'm going to copy by hitting Control C and then Control V. Copy that line down. Up at the top, you'll see the formula here. 
for this item, which is referring to the current record. Basically, Power Apps is sort of navigating through our table of contacts, and for each one it's pulling out that email address. For this one, let's say we want to display the phone number. If you just start typing in phone, it'll give you options here. Let's select business phone, and you'll see it's filled in that data here. So pretty easy to work with your data. You also get quite a few formatting options over here on the right. So if we were to come over here, we could change the color, let's say. Don't want to get too crazy, but maybe a light green background. You can put a border on it. So let's say a one point border. Now you can see that. And you can also do it on the individual elements inside here too. So just whatever you want to work with, make sure you've got that selected and then come over here and you can play around with the options. It can be fun just to sort of see what's here. There are some advanced options and then you can even use the ideas tab, which is going to use machine learning to generate ideas for you based on your data. I'll leave it to you to sort of play around with this and get it just the way you want, but you do need to save it. So come up to file, save as, We'll leave the name the same, my first Canvas app, and save. The next thing you need to do is share. This will make it available to other users. And up here, for what we're doing, I'm just going to say everyone, but you would want to limit this in the real world. We'll say everybody in this organization, share, and cancel. And then the last thing you need to do is grab this web link. You can also obviously click on it to see what it looks like. And there we go. There's our contacts. You can also get there by clicking on play and this will open up a preview or an actual view of your app as well. And there you have it. That's how to get started with a new Canvas app in Power Apps. Thanks for watching.